Hi hey guys, how's it going? Okay, a couple things. Um, got a few comments about my Mac Mini audio test. Um, great, thanks guys. I appreciate that. Not to confuse everybody, um, I have two computers, uh, a Mac Mini, which is down in the kitchen, and then I have my iMac, which is up in my room here. And, you know, I probably should do a video about that. I thought I did, but maybe I just didn't keep it. Post it on YouTube, who knows? I got too many videos to sift through. Anyways, so I don't want to confuse anybody saying, you know, you know wasn't he just at a different computer? Well, yes, I have two computers. Um, and I do plan on doing a uh, tech video. Um, Mad Dog Dom, you know, you won't be disappointed. Uh, it's going to be more on the lines of Mac stuff, of course. Anyways, um, I also got a comment from England Revival about the upcoming international friendly match between Spain and England. Now, this is one reason why I can't stand being in America. There's no attention paid to those type of international matches, you know, albeit friendly, but I was clueless. I had no idea until his comment that there was actually a match coming up. I knew there was the World Cup qualifying matches coming up. Um, circa this upcoming week and I believe into next month but friendly matches I, I was just completely unaware of it so in regards to that it won't be televised here we won't get to see it I'll have to go to my favorite UK site BBC and uh, catch the uh, highlights post match now Spain is tough um, if everybody remembers correctly they won year old 2008 which seems like ages ago. I mean, it really does. I mean, it wasn't that long ago. It was like what, ten months ago, eight months ago. Who knows? But it seems so much longer. You know, watching Turkey and Croatia and Germany and Spain, Russia. Anyways, so Spain's gonna be tough. You know, it's a friendly. I don't hold much weight in friendly matches, other than bragging rights. Um, but England seems to fare well in these type of matches uh, aka when they played Germany not too long ago and you know everybody thought oh my gosh they're gonna lay an egg well they didn't so and I really think this motivates the England club or I'm sorry the England team to perform well so yeah I, I think they could win easily even though it's in Spain you know that's I don't think that's a deterrent or anything at least I won't have snow on the ground and frozen pitches. So, yeah, I'll, I call for like a 2-1 England victory. So, let's hope I'm right this time for once. Also, side note, I um, watched... It was an incredible match today. I almost won two, but the first one, even though um, it was a favorable result for Aston Villa um, against Blackburn, um, it wasn't the most exciting match in the world, and I, I'm actually speaking about the exciting match today is Liverpool and Portsmouth. Portsmouth and Liverpool. We get the, uh, the home field correct or home advantage. But the first half was awful. It was boring. I actually, <laughs> I actually dozed off. Thankfully, the second half, five goals. Unbelievable. Unreal. My favorite Liverpool player, Dirk Kout. Yeah, I mean, talk about a killer shot. David James just I, he couldn't react. He couldn't do anything. It was just right in the top right corner and hell of a shot. And Fernando Torres, hell of a header. Oh, my gosh. Liverpool rocks. Now, before, everybody says, oh, this was against Portsmouth, and they're struggling and stuff. Good teams find a way to win even if their manager doesn't give them much opportunity in the beginning. I'm sorry, the lineup and the, the layout was, was abysmal. Um, you, you don't do that. You, you don't shake things up so much when there, there's a chemistry on a club. You just don't do it. You know, and it, <clears throat> I don't think it's any coincidence that two of the three Liverpool goals were scored by substitutes, Dirk Kaut and then Fernando Torres. You know, Dirk Kaut like, came about halfway through the second half, and Fernando Torres came with the last 15 minutes. I mean, 
why all the drama? Get them in there a little sooner. And, you know, I, I, and the goalkeeper for Liverpool, Reina, um, he, he missed a, I, th I would have thought an easy save. You know, I, I did play backup goalkeeper, but, uh, uh I'm hardly up to his caliber, but I, I don't know. I, I thought it was rather a odd goal, but total credit to Liverpool. Now they just need West Ham to beat Manchester United. And, you know, hey, Manchester United doesn't fare well against London clubs when they're in London, so, hey, anything can happen. Go West Ham, beat their asses. So, yeah, anyway, so congrats to Liverpool. Uh, congrats to Aston Villa. They're now up in third position, surpassing Chelsea. So, I mean, again, good teams find a way to win. Let's hope Manchester United finds a way to lose. I, I won't bet the house on that one, though. Anyway, so, getting back to the original topic, England and Spain. Spain's tough, though. I mean, they've got a hell of a team. You know, England seems to rise to the occasion, but Spain, yeah, they, they, should, they should be uh, doing well uh, in the World Cup qualifiers and, uh, and beyond. But uh, this is just a friendly match, so, uh, yeah, other than bragging rights, we'll see how it goes. Or I'll read how it goes, because I won't actually see how it goes. Okay, that's about it, guys. It's Saturday evening. Um, we have a tape-delayed match here. Um, Everton against Bolton. That's coming up in about 13 minutes, so I get to get to watch one final match for the day. I don't know the results, which is kind of irritating, because I like to go to the BBC website and check out all the scores um, in the Premier League, in the Championship, League One. A lot of the League One matches were postponed due to the inclement weather. Hey, yeah, that's you know. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the snow over in England. Um, that's that's what we get all you know from November, December, January, February, March. Hey, even into April we get snow here. Actually, we've had snow starting in September. Doesn't stay, of course. You know, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, and we've even had snow as late as May 21st here. That's right. You know. So if you, if you want to find a comparable place, it's Moscow. This is Moscow of the USA. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. Anyways, um, so uh, good luck to England. They should fare well against Spain, even though Spain's a very tough team. Congrats to Aston Villa. Big congrats to Liverpool. Outstanding match. Way to go, Dirk Hout. Awesome goal. Awesome goal. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye.